Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Benhini. If you're new, if you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what it do? Ah! So today we have a review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new house labs. Not so new, but definitely new to me. And if it's new to you too, then you're at the right place, okay? But today I'm going to be trying and testing and wearing over time the whole nine yards, giving you a full on review of the House Labs foundation on dark skin. So if you're interested to see what this looks like as well as how it wears, then please keep on watching the video and let's get right into it. Oh, I'm excited. Oh. <laughs> I just need to say that the whole family is around so if you guys hear anybody talking in the background just know that I'm home I'm a mom I have a whole unit in this household okay let me zoom in so that we get into the actual skin get the D I'm gonna start off by priming my skin but before I do that let me give you some information on this foundation this is house labs by Lady Gaga it's medium to full coverage I have mine in the shade 540 deep neutral it comes in an extensive range of shades most especially for dark people and that's one reason why this foundation I feel like has the name that it's got in I'm gonna start off with some primer I just need to make sure that my skin is ready I'm gonna go ahead and do two pumps. I'm using my brush. This is the Hide Foundation brush. I'm gonna use that to blend it out. And I want you guys to look at the coverage for this foundation. See how beautiful that is. And it's so lightweight, you literally don't feel anything. And that's how I like for my base products to feel. <laughs> So this is the coverage that we have again this is medium to full coverage you can definitely build on the coverage I love the feel that you get with this I need my base to be as lightweight as possible and I love that it definitely has a neutral undertone and I love that this for me is a perfect base for me to build up on this is how I like for my bases to look like it's perfect for summer I feel like I can balance this out for both seasons so now this is the shade that we have this is the coverage let's go ahead and pair it with all our products that's how we'll see you know how she actually wears and then we can go ahead and test it out during the whole day okay because of my toddler I'm not even going to talk too much anyway because she's not making me talk as much as I want to so yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna do the rest of the look okay <laughs> attempt to bake with the Charlotte Tilbury this is the uh, translucent powder I haven't tried using any powder like this to bake before I'm scared it might give me a crazy finish but also knowing Charlotte Tilbury you know that their products are good so I'm scared and not scared so this is the finished look my first review that i would say is i love this foundation the shade match is perfect okay perfecto made for me i love it so much now i have to see how long it can wear without getting oily and you know the whole nine yards so i'm going to record the whole process the thing is it's actually past midday <laughs> currently 241 so I'm going to be wearing this for exactly six hours at 841 I will come back here and then show you guys what this looks so right now this is the vibes that it's giving which I absolutely love I have no complaints it's so lightweight that's one thing for me I love the fact that it doesn't feel like I have like a full-on foundation I, I think I'm over that period where people like you know we used to love a lot of makeup i don't like that again i like for my makeup to look and feel lightweight 
and I like that with my base products I like that with my base products so that's key to me I honestly love this from the first day that I tried it up until now I, I feel the same way this is my second application and I feel like I still like it I feel like the vibe is still there so again this is the look this is what we have right now I will leave it on till 8 41 and then I'll come back and then show you guys what it looks like the oils and everything i'm the type of person that if i make like i will touch up my face i like to touch up my face i like to use my powders during the day just to keep my makeup together because i get really oily um but i will leave this to do its thing and then i'll come back and show you guys in the next six hours what it looks like okay okay guys Ooh, can you imagine it is 9 2 p.m. so this is six hours and a few minutes later this is what my face is looking like i haven't touched up my beauty sponge is actually still in the bathroom um but this is my face i definitely know that i'm oily because my skin naturally would get oily but i am overly impressed when I tell you that I am so impressed, I sound very husky because I'm tired and I'm about to shower and go to bed, but wow. Look at my skin. I just need to use my powder brush to touch up and this is like back to new. I'm happy that I did a wet test for you guys because this, this right here, it is worth every dollar. This stuff is expensive, okay? So it's definitely worth every penny. It's worth the hype. It's worth everything. It's long lasting. The foundation in itself, you guys can see, like the foundation in itself is still very beautiful. Like the only oils you see are like around my T-zone areas, which is like very normal for combination to oily skin. But this, I am happy. <laughs> I am so happy. But I want you guys to comment below. What do you think? What do we think about the foundation? What is the vibe? Do we like it? Rate it, take your time. Between 0 to 10, what would you guys rate the foundation? Okay, so that's it you guys. That's it for the House Lab foundation review plus the wet test. I hope you guys liked the video. Comment below if you have any questions. Also comment below if you have any products that you want me to try out for you. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a huge thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama, mama say